Hi friends, this is Steve. This is a quick update on the new blog post, which is new estimates and number sense resources every day for the rest of the school year. You'll see below that there's a schedule where I'll be releasing a new resource every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. On Mondays, there's the new estimation clipboard, and we'll take a look at tomorrow's in just a moment. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday are estimate mystery days, and on Friday, that's a new mystery number sense resource that will be coming out. There are more details below. You can see the schedule and estimation clipboard number 41. That's the first resource is already available on my blog. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at it. Okay, this is estimation clipboard 41. You can see that there are five slides. If you have not used an estimation clipboard, it's a very, very powerful number sense routine that you can use with your class. And it's also really simple and easy to use. So the first slide is simply the title slide. The next slide has tips. If you're new to using the estimation clipboard, you'll want to take a little bit of time to read these tips. And then on to slide three, which is where this begins. Right away, you're going to notice this red octagon that says, if you can see it, then the slideshow is not playing. And then there are tips on, on what to do in that case. In order to make this work, you need to go to slideshow and then view from the current slide. And as soon as you do that, the red octagon will disappear and it has begun. Okay, let's go ahead and walk through this. When you click, the question will come up. How many foam pieces are in the glass? On the next click, the reveal box shows. So you know that on the very next click, the answer will appear. So prior to that, the students are estimating and sharing their estimates with you. When you click again, the number will appear. This glass has 38 pieces in it. On the next click, this picture moves up to the corner. You can still see that there are 38 pieces. And then on the next click, a new picture appears. Everything is identical except for the number of pieces in the glass. When you click, the reveal box shows. The students can discuss. And then on the next click, the answer will appear. And it's 27. On the bottom row, when you click again, you'll see that the picture appears. This is identical again, except for the number of pieces in there. When you click this time, something new that you haven't seen before with an estimation clipboard is that a pencil will appear. And that is a reminder on the bottom row that before you move to the reveal to have the students write down on a piece of paper or on their computer what their estimate is, because once they write it down, then they can have a more complete discussion about it. When you click again, the pencil will disappear and the reveal box will appear, which means that you're one click away from showing the answer. So the number in this case is 21. When you click again, the fourth picture will appear for your students. So again, they can estimate. You're going to see the pencil appear again in the bottom, just as a reminder to be sure to have the students write down their estimate before they discuss that. With the next click, the reveal box shows up. And then when you click again, you can see what the total is. And then on the slide at the end, you can see that there's a link to get back to the blog post. You can actually click on the link or on the picture. And then there are links to other resources like 51 Estimate Mysteries, the original Splat Lessons, or the Fraction Splat Lessons. If you want to go to any of the first 40 estimation clipboards, you can find them here. Cube Conversations, 20 Days of Number Sense and Rich Math Talk. And then if you're interested in the multiplication course, you can find the multiplication course by clicking here or on the image. And there's a lot more information about it found on the blog post here. So this is the beginning of new estimate mysteries and number sense resources every day for the rest of the school year. And again, you can find the first resource by scrolling down to Monday, November 2nd. And the estimation clipboard is right here. I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much.